Well, good morning, everyone. I'll gavel to an open this 98th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. I'm Eric Green, director of the National Human Genome Research Institute. I welcome all of you uh, to this council meeting. I should um, immediately point out that this is the first time we're doing a council meeting in this exact format, um, where uh, we have all of our council members joining us uh, virtually through Zoom, but we have um, many NHGRI staff here in our conference room in our normal location for council meetings. And this is uh, a, a routine we're trying out where using the winter month of February, which sometimes is difficult uh, travel because of weather, um, we'll um, not ask our council members to come in town and to do this virtually, uh, but at the same time uh, gather here as, a, as an institute to be able to interact and, uh, and help facilitate questions that, that come up. Uh, unlike our other two council meetings each year in May and September, those will be um, uh, fully in person um, with uh, the ability to bring in uh, council members as needed by Zoom if they're unable to travel. So that's why there's some people here in the room, but council members on, on, by Zoom. So let me turn this over to our exec secretary, Rudy Pizzotti, to make a few announcements. Thank you, Eric. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the open session of the February 2023 council meeting. Um, I want to remind everyone, the council members, that uh, the open session is being live streamed, it can be viewed going to the NHGRI genome.gov website. We will also create an archive of this meeting. Uh, go, uh, there are archived meetings going back to 2011, I believe. They'll be posted on the council webpage, again, nhgrigenome.gov. Uh, we have one new staff member to introduce, and Renee, could you bring up the slide, please? Uh, I want to introduce Maricela Trujillo. Uh, she originally is from New Mexico. She attended college at the University of Arizona. In 2013, she moved to Maryland and worked at NIH for seven years. She moved back to New Mexico a few years ago and worked as a budget analyst for the Department of Defense at the White Sands Missile Range. She'll be a grants management specialist here at NHGRI and will be working remotely. Welcome, Maricela. I'd like to acknowledge our Council Society liaison members. Ellen Giarelli is from the International Society of Nursing, Nurses in Genetics. Mona Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics. Matthew Caffett from the Genetic Alliance and Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. I also want to acknowledge uh, Janelle Glover, seated at the far right side of the table. She's a program analyst at NHGRI and she is our <clears throat> note taker today and will be responsible for preparing the minutes from this meeting. I also want to acknowledge Renee Ryder, Program Director at NHGRI. She is um, managing all of the slide presentations for today and tomorrow, which is probably the definition of herding cats. So thank you, Renee. Uh, council members, I seek your approval of the minutes from the September 2022 meeting. Are there any edits or uh, suggested changes to the minutes? All right, can I get a motion to approve the minutes? And a second, I'm going with hand waving here. All in favor? Aye. Any, anyone opposed or wishing to abstain? Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let me, <clears throat> excuse me, draw your attention to future council meetings for 2023 and 2024. They're listed on the open session agenda. If you discover any schedule conflicts, uh, please let me know, and more importantly, Comfort Brown. As of this time, we're planning for the May and September meetings to be live, and we'll be in touch if there's any reason to change or reconsider those decisions. Now I'm going to yield the floor to Eric for the director's report. Okay, 